The dynamics within immigrant societies are complex and difficult to navigate. The Chinese community in Johannesburg is an example of this complexity. Within the Chinese community in South Africa exists a group of young people who consider themselves more South African than Chinese. According to this group, there's no real balance between traditional heritage and the modern present they are unapologetically a part of. Sibusi Siwenyanda speaks to this group of proud South Africans. Meet Howard Ahon. When he was two years old, his parents moved to South Africa from Hong Kong. Now 31, Howard considers himself more South African than Chinese. Um, I think I'll feel more at art if I go back abroad, because from what I hear, they can spot you a mile away that you're not from, the, from either Hong Kong or China, because it's, it's the way you speak, the way you dress, the way you walk. Sometimes I... I look at Hong Kong fashion, I'm thinking, what? You know, it's, 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 you know, even though we're Chinese, it's, there's still a big difference in, 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 our, in our culture, our fashion, our language, where we talk and where we see things, our, you know, our, our mindset, basically. Mm. Professor Lauren Lando of Wits University is an expert on migrant communities. He explains how South Africa's fluid sense of identity makes it a relatively easy place to settle into. Immigrant integration into South Africa, whether it's adults or or children, there are real questions of what you're integrating into. A lot of the places that the migrants go, especially poor migrants, are themselves very new communities, areas where the community there has transformed. Older residents have moved out, new residents have moved in. And those residents are often highly mixed, which at one level becomes very confusing, bemusing, what is it that we're integrating into? But in another, South Africa becomes very permeable. Unlike a a France or an England, which has had hundreds of years of saying, this is what we are, we're British, we're French, or whatever. In South Africa, I think those values are are still a little bit up for grabs. And at some level, being a South African means, at least at the best of times, being prepared to live with whomever's next to you and and sort of just getting on with it. Back to Howard. He was raised by parents who held fast to Chinese tradition and customs. While he wants to raise his children with Christian values, he doesn't plan to lose all the influence of his Chinese upbringing. He wants to marry a Chinese woman, but hasn't met anyone special yet. Um, I think my mom ideally wanted me to marry a Chinese girl. Always been pushing for it, you know how our mothers are getting married, <laughs> yeah. you know, have kids. She, she tends to worry because I'm still single at my age now, so she's just a bit edgy at times. My dad, just as well, but he, he doesn't, because he's, he's a guy, you know, he doesn't really say it out as, as often, but he is concerned. But it's kind of difficult because, you know, the, the amount of Chinese people I meet is, I swear, a handful. And majority of them are either in a relationship or either married. If you take a closer look, you might notice some divisions in Johannesburg's Chinese community. New immigrants struggle to relate to their South African counterparts. According to Howard, language isn't even the biggest divider. They came from abroad, so they're still pretty much in tune with their Chinese culture and their way of life and how they see things. Rather, the locals are more Chinese but still brought up, brought up in the South African way, in a sense, you know, so it's still very westernized, but still, you know, still Chinese. Mm. You know? Simon Chan is a 26-year-old investment banker. Like Howard, Simon was born in Hong Kong. He says he feels like a tourist whenever he visits his country of birth, as most people notice immediately that he isn't from Hong Kong. Like, the entertainment that they, that they have in Hong Kong, like, people go like to karaoke. Jackie Keong is also an investment banker. The 29-year-old from Troyville, Johannesburg, feels well integrated into South Africa. I don't know if you found it, but like, because we're not white and because we're not black, we don't have the, whenever there is some kind of conflict, like we kind of don't, yeah. we don't have, we're not too, I don't know. Like, don't like, you, you, you don't take mm. sides. And yeah. you, you're, not, you're not forced to. Yes. You know, yeah. it's, 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 like in South Africa, it really is just black and white mm. Like, mm. kind of divide. While there are aspects of Chinese heritage this group of young people wish to hold on to, they remain determined to create a new Chinese South African heritage for their children. 
they pretty much South African.